team that's deadlifting. We've not done a deadlift session yet, so um, you just get to see what I'm doing. Um, ugh, first, I'm just going to set this up for warm ups. And um, here's the protocol today we're going to do um, three sets of five. And um, I'm going to work up to last deadlift session, I did five reps on 185. And um, the thing is, it was in the other gym. And I am always skeptical of weights and bars in other gyms, um, especially in Thailand and depending on the brand. If it's not East West, I don't trust it. So here today, we're going to see um, how I get on with what I know is definitely going to be 185 kilos. So that's the goal. Um, or even more, we shall see. So. I'm just going to go through my whole session for deadlifts uh, with my warm up protocol. And then we will go into, I'm going to start my working sets. Uh, I'm going to do 165, 175, 185. And um, if I feel like I can do more, I'll do more. We shall see. Uh, all right, I'll tell you after this. Let me just do my quick five reps warm up and then in between I'm just going to talk through technique stuff like that um, the usual verbal diarrhea and we'll see how we do so Yeah, we're all good. So, uh, first warm up set, 60. I'm just going to warm up doing five reps, going up in 20s until around about um, after 140. I'll probably go up um, in 10s. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And um, last night, last night I, so I'm not 100% because I did meet with a friend from the UK last night um, who was in town. And that did mean that I had two Negronis and a rum and coke. So I've kind of been dehydrated all day, or as most people call it, hungover. Um, but only just like, just a headache. So I'm still feeling it now, so. Um, I'm not making excuses, by the way. I am still going to hit this, but that's how I'm feeling today. Right, let's get the other. So this one's going to be five reps on 100 as well. So someone observed in my stories last week that I basically stiff leg my deadlifts. So even though my stance is conventional, I'm essentially doing an RDL. And uh, that is not intentional, that is basically because I have pretty much in the sagittal plane, so going forwards and back, I have barely any dorsiflexion, like barely any. And if I do to dorsiflex more, I need to like turn my toes out. And um, because I'm more of a hinger, I've got longer femurs than a squatter. As I squat naturally anyway, my torso comes very parallel to the floor which means that I don't really need to use so much dorsiflexion. Um, so it's just a natural thing that kind of happens. Um, so if you see that my deadlift looks like an RDL, there's the explanation. Uh, so I do have a ritual as well. I'll talk you through the ritual as it gets heavier. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stick on 140 now. I feel like there's some 20s missing, but I don't know, that can't be the case. 
So the one thing I did need today was chalk, as grip will suffer. Let's just see. Yeah. Let's just check the microphone quickly. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So, could be a quick session. So, oh, because of the fact that I am slightly hungover, um, I'm not doing a full session today. Well, I might do, but I'm going to break my session up. Um, I wanted to come to this gym. And this gym does not have machines, which is the only downside. Uh, so I might have to do the machine portion later. And for the machines, it's all the quad dominant stuff. So I could even do that tomorrow, um, which I might well do. We'll just see how I get on today. And you'll notice, bloody hell, that's loud. Even though I'm a, so I'm in a hypertrophy phase at the moment, so muscle growth, but I've got three strength exercises. Um, so they're in the five rep range. Squats, deadlifts, and pull-ups. They're the only three that I'm putting in my strength range because I'm gonna bring those back in my next block uh, when I start to focus more on strength. Um, and they've not been in my blocks for a while, so kind of bringing them back. Um, but yeah, the goal next year is to deadlift more than 200 and... Well, now that I've increased my weight, I'm 70... I'll be 75, and I always want to be deadlifting three times my body weight. So that's um, 70... 10 plus 15, 225. Oh, I can do that. Now, all right, well, I need to do more than that. Um, so 230 is the goal for even when I get 75 kg. So this morning I was 74.1, but my average for the week is still um, in the late 73s. Eating is hard, guys. It really is. So set number. This isn't even set one yet. Next warm up set. One more warm up set after this on 150. This is going to be five reps. Let's go. Yeah, really trying to thrust my glutes through on that one. And as I lower, um, I always try and put it down slowly, no matter how heavy it is, because I've just found that that's always helped me keep my back super strong. So even when I'm deadlifting a single, I never really slam it down. I always try and control it down. And uh, my back's got, I mean, I think some people would be like, what on earth are you doing doing that? It's bad for your back. But I think because I'm so accustomed to it now, and I've literally been doing it for like 10 years, um, well, I think I'm all right. So, 150 next. We're gonna do the aircon just came on, lovely. That's a rarity in here. So when you hear me whinge about the aircon, there's something annoying about the aircon in here. I can't control it. I can only, but it like, is on some weird temperature sensor. So it goes from 22 all the way up to 30. And if I try and press a button, nothing happens. The only thing I can do is turn it off. So, um, but this one seems to be on a favorable cycle right now. Uh, 
All right, so this one's going to be set number. Oh, it's not even going to say yet, it's still warm up. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I need to respond to as far as comments, but none this week, no responses. We are close to Christmas. So for Christmas, I've actually just provided a training. I don't know if you can hear that. I've just provided a training that's basically helping everyone navigate through Christmas and uh, just gave them some bits of advice. So I'm gonna do the same for you after this set and then we'll finally be at our first work set. All right, 160 next. So what I'm doing, or what for Christmas, main thing that my clients worry about is staying on track with nutrition and undoing all their hard work. So here's the thing. Firstly, don't worry about that. You only need to worry if you have no intention in the new years of taking any form of action whatsoever, okay? So that's number one. Number two, bring your calories to maintenance. Just see it as a period whereby staying in a deficit might well be difficult. So bring your calories to maintenance. If you are bringing your calories to maintenance, keep training. Like, I don't see why Christmas, I go to the gym on Christmas day. I don't see why people wouldn't if that's like part of your lifestyle. So stay active, move, train. If you have calories coming to maintenance, training is gonna be, well, well uh, your training's gonna be more fueled in the gym because you've got more carbohydrates in you. So that's something that you can enjoy. And that's also gonna set you up for the new year whereby you've had potentially some favorable um, adaptations in terms of muscle. And so that's gonna stand you in good stead for when you go back into a deficit and you've got a little bit more muscle to reveal. Um, so that's the next thing. Christmas dinner. So much turkey, you can hit your protein, no problem. Just focus on sticking a load of uh, pr um, a lot of protein on your plate, lots of vegetables, minimize the roast stuff, the saucy stuff. Don't avoid it, just minimize it. And that's going to be a great way for you to manage Christmas, just those few things. So keep moving, stay active, bring your calories to maintenance. After that period, it's time to. Uh, I need to put some more weight on. After that period, you can get back into your deficit. This is from a weight loss perspective, obviously. Most of my clients are people who are trying to lose weight, get lean. So that's what I've recommended. This is the first work set. Uh, 165 is what we are doing. As it gets heavier, I start to focus on my setup a lot more with a deadlift. And so what I'm doing is, in fact, I'll talk you through each stage, like a mini tutorial. All right, so chalk sun, obviously. Walk up to the bar, 
shins are pretty much touching or just almost touching I make sure that my stance is set I know my stance is good when I rotate one way rotate the other and if my foot doesn't move so much or if I feel it moving freely I know that I'm in a good position all right if it's like you know if I'm getting a lot of movement through my feet then typically I just make micro adjustments until I know that I'm fully grounded especially when I come this way because that's going to be the way that I I don't know that's just um, the foot flattening is a loading portion so if I know that my foot's um, in a position where it can really flatten I know that I can load load up the movement really nicely so that's the first thing I do then next thing hinge with a sound effect and then one hand on and at this point I'm really starting to focus on really gripping the bar other hand on I do underhand grip I push the my the in uh, uh, whatever you call that bit push that right into the bar so I've got really strong grip knees in knees out shoulder blades down the back focus breathe and then I go all right if you're someone who deadlifts heavy or have ambitions of deadlifting heavy and you don't do a setup like that whereby you know you've got a ritual in order to make sure that your body is in the best position and you're creating tension throughout the body if you don't do that this bar will not move off the floor so it's the most it's like the most important part <sighs> oh i always do that as well uh, that's a strong standing position shoulder blades down the back hips thrust so i'm kind of reinforcing what i want to do before i go down Set one, not bad. So um, next up, we are gonna ramp this up to 175. Take a bit of a break because um, heart rate is up a little bit. I feel the movement, or I feel tension in parts of my body, particularly the lower back. So I want that to dissipate a little bit. All right, one, one, seven, five. So this is where I'm gonna find out um, where, we're, where we are at with the accuracy of the weights at, uh, what's the place called? The other gym I go to, Fitness One. Right. Okay. Break. So, I've been doing hip thrusts recently. I feel like they've been helping, but I tell you what, when I first started deadlifting, one exercise that really did help me with the lockout was the kettlebell swing. Mastering the kettlebell swing and just really focusing on driving your hips through and a big thrust was a very helpful attribute to develop um, that being said the thrust for me is easy but the whenever um, what I have issues with when this gets really heavy is just getting it off the floor the lockout is never ever a problem after it gets to like I don't know just above shin height it's it, it, typically on all of my one uh, RM attempts um, has always happened after it got to that point, but just picking it up. That's where it can go. Five reps. Depending on how this goes, I will maybe do one, eight, six for a bit of progressive overload um, because that's what we get at one, eight, five. And um, that will be a, another 
new 5RM, which is good. Oh, I need to put that into a calculator, actually, just to figure out what my new projected 1RM would be. a bit harder so um, I will do uh, next set one eight I think I'm just gonna just do one eight seven point five to be honest with you yeah I'll give that a go all right let me load that up I forgot about these uh, these weird 1.5 weights which means I've really pushed the boat out. I'm doing, or I'm going to try and do, 188 for five. So um, rehydration is definitely needed. Um, I'm definitely going to need to chalk up and uh, really, really focus. Um, I think the key is to just, when I uh, get it down, just to not spend too long in between, in between reps. Otherwise, I'm just gonna allow that fatigue to uh, set in, the doubt to creep in. If I don't let the doubt creep in, in between sets, I'm good, or in between reps, sorry. But if I start thinking, oh, can I really do this next rep? That's, that's danger territory. So um, if I get three, that's just setting myself up for potential failure. If I get three, that's good. All right, good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just go silent for a bit. I know I had it at the third rep, so happy with that, that's all right. Whew, let my fingers open up a bit. Man, it takes out of your, obviously you get out of breath doing that, but my brain, tomorrow I'm really gonna feel that. That was like really hard, but yeah, one, one eight eight official 5RM, so I'll be, Intrigued to see what the calculator says. Um, the one RM calculator, based on that, I'm going to give that an RIR of. I'll say RIR one. 
just be safe because I felt that whilst my back was in control, um, that certainly was fatiguing. So deadlift session. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you in the next vlog.